Right, we need the color balance RGB for this tutorial. If you don't see it, go to the search bar, fill in color balance RGB. There you go. Let's get a mask going, a drawn mask, and we need the brush. Now, the brush is very small. You can make it smaller by scrolling towards you or bigger by scrolling it away from you. It all depends on the area that you need to paint over. So I'm going to paint over my hand and it doesn't have to be very, very precise. It can be a little bit rough because we will be feathering this out and then once you've painted over everything click this symbol right here to have the mask active or deactive and for those of you saying oh rico i already knew this i just had to paint over the areas i want to edit no not in this tutorial let me tell you what we're going to do because i want to see the mask i'm going to click this symbol the display mask and now you see that we need to adjust it and we're going to do so by just slightly feathering it that's all we are going to do we have some bleeding but that's okay and now now the magic happens because now we are going to invert it. There you go. So we're going to edit everything except for the skin tones. So let's turn it off. And now let's work on the image. Right. I'm going to work on the colors in the background. So we've got the highlights. We've got the power, which is the midtones. We are going to brighten them up. And I want to make them greener. The same goes for the shadows. I'm going to darken the shadows. And I'm going to make them more green as well. And now let's see a before and after by deselecting the module and selecting it. You see that the skin tones stay the same now let's say you want to use this for more things uh, in this case the local contrast and if we activate the local contrast module everything will be affected let me exaggerate it and you'll see so let's say we don't want to have everything affected we just want the things affected that you know we just worked on a minute ago we can go back to the masking again and rather than painting everything over all you need to do is go to the drawn mask no mask use and change that to the use same shapes as the color balance RGB. And then don't forget to invert the mask. And then once you've done that, you can just change everything. Uh, and then the background will change and not the skin tones.